because I also want to touch on what do you wish you would have done sooner, right? Before yeah. you before you start traveling, because that's really, really important because I want to make sure we cover that and then we'll jump into the, okay, well, now you know what you know and then we can go from there. Um, I mean, what I wish I'd done sooner is is know about what I'm about to talk about. Ah, <laughs> that's from most sales. <laughs> I, I wish I knew about because I was I'm gonna I was a sales guy, and so after college, I so I did door to door sales. All right, during mm -hmm. during college summer, mm -hmm. um, and then I didn't really know what what I really wanted to do after college. I got so to ask though. I got to ask you, um, what were you what were you selling door to door in the summers? Because I'm thinking solar Comcast. Best. Do they have that in Arizona? <laughs> Cable oh, yeah. TV, internet, and phone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Phones. Absolutely. Yep. Okay. So, man, Perfect. I was the I was a door to door guy. I guess, like, I didn't, you know, like, I, I my friend told me, hey, I might I made a thousand bucks last week. And I was like, I don't care what it is, sign me up. Like in high <laughs> school, in. I did I did like random. I did like like power washing and like house painting. Like, I just wanted to make money. Like, so many of us, like, mm -hmm. I I don't care. I just want to make money. I just want to make good money. And so after mm -hmm. college, it was the same. Like. I don't want to get into like, I was a science major. I was like, I decided I don't want to do that. So it's like, I, mm -hmm. I do this door to door sales thing. Let's just keep going with that. I'll make good money. And then you figure out like, where, what do I want to do with my life? So I did corporate sales for two years after that. And then I then started through via YouTube, found Digital Nomad, Chiang Mai, Thailand, FBA, boom, Digital Nomad, the rest is history. Uh, that was mm -hmm. eight years ago. But what I wish I knew sooner is this doing sales remotely. And that's what mm -hmm. I'm going to talk about. Yeah. So sales oldest profession ever you've done it i've done it so many of us have done it um oh. and so yeah this is for you if if you've, you've done sales or any corporate thing um you know remote because many companies have had remote sales teams forever and ever but since after covid of course now more sales teams are fully fully remote so remote closing 101 how to earn great money from anywhere as a freelance sales closer let's just get into it goal of this is going to be teach you the basics of remote closing and how to start so about me already covered this. Uh, and we did mention that I run my own Amazon marketing agency since 2018. That's my own uh, company. And I'm, I'm my own closer. What is remote closing? You join the remote sales team for a company or influencer, taking those inbound sales calls slash discovery calls appointments and close them for commission. And Ooh. so interested leads are coming in you're taking the calls, you're closing them, you're making commission, typically 10, 15, or 20%. And the typical offer typically ranges from 3,000 all the way up to 30,000 and up and up and up. It could be way more, way more than that. The package that you're closing, for example, real estate could be huge, 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 but that's typical in this space. And so you can make typically 300 to $1,000 per close. And so this is the typical setup, right? People on social media, they see some sort of advertisement. They go and click and watch some webinar. At the end of that webinar, it may have a freebie or it may just have click here to book uh, your discovery call with our team to learn more about our program. Pick here to uh, click here to book your uh, uh, transformation session with one of, our, uh, uh, one of our team members. And so mm -hmm. you are those team members. You take the call and you close them on the program. They're asking their questions about the program. And most of the time they know that there's a program, right? And so they're already interested, right? And they're already warmed up via the social media of that person, via the webinar they, that they just watched or the social media content that they have been consuming um, from that company or that person. They take the Zoom call with you. You're down here. Oop. You're down here. The Zoom call is typically 30 to 45 minutes. Um a 25 to 30% close rate is typical. Let's say it's a $5,000 course or coaching program. Boom, you get $500 for that sale. And then boom, they're done. They're off to the team. You don't have to do any work after that. No delivery. You're just the sales closer. That's what you do. Hence, remote closing. You're just closing the deals. Mm -hmm. And so why remote closing? So this this remote closing is, as I mentioned, something I wish I knew sooner. This right now is the fastest and relatively easiest way I'm seeing guys hit $5,000 plus a month profits doing freelancing in a matter of months, let alone 10 to 20K profit months, especially with virtually zero investment needed up front because it's freelancing. You don't need no inventory. You don't need, you don't need a it's team. Not their, you don't it's need not anything. their program. It's not your product. You didn't build yep. all the stuff it's, you're, it's, you're, you're it's, showing up, right? It's, 
It's that it's very simple. And so for the same, this is appealing to a lot of people for the same reason. Corporate sales is appealing, was appealing to me and appealing to so many. Um, and why real estate is appealing to a lot of people, because it's it's kind of like you're you're freelancing, you're doing your own thing, and you can make great money doing it, right? It's as hard as you want to hustle, right? Mm -hmm. So all the benefits associated with freelancing, you set your own hours, make work from anywhere, make great money, quit your job, live in Thailand, Mexico, or Bali. Hey, that's the goal here and potential to make high income. So in short, this is the most profitable form of freelancing that I've seen, which almost any, anyone can learn and start earning in a matter of months. Not only can you start earning and make money as soon as one to three months, but you can work from anywhere in the world and you can make great money doing it. Okay, Some side cool. benefits. So, I, hear, I heard you say, and I, Go I'm going to jump in because... I heard you say almost anybody can do it. So I don't know if this is the right place to ask, but I'm it's coming up for me. I'm like, okay, so who is it right for? Who is it not right for? And we got that slide coming up in, in, okay, in two all slides. Right, I'll be patient. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, I'll, I'll just go ahead and go into this one. Um, well, okay. I'll, I'll go in order. So some side benefits okay. of sales that I, I tell guys, like this is a great way to start your career. Uh, if you're, you know, if you're a young hustler, uh, because communication is all that business is it all that life is so um unlike graphic design or any other other forms of freelancing doing learning sales as your freelance skill improves your other areas of life it improves your other businesses it improves your relationships with your friends family and romantic relationships as well because life is all just about communication well, and it's one of those areas that's really hard to replace with technology, right? I mean, it, yes, I, I think it's that's and we, there's a lot of talk about that stuff right now. So I get it. Yeah, yeah. This is this is this is not copywriting, which is being replaced as we speak. Um, talking to a person on a Zoom call is not going to be replaced for a while. Okay, this is what companies are going to need for, yeah, basically, yeah, you know. Um, and so, yeah, so communication skills, that's what I tell guys all the time. Like this is because I went through, through this journey as well. Like I used to be shy, introverted guy after doing door-to-door -door sales, it freaking locked me out of, it unlocked my, my social skills. Cause now I'm like, so are you, you saying it was like easier, easier to ask for a date or to, oh, I'm saying somebody. like, you learn how to take rejection. You learn how to talk to strangers. You learn how to open a conversation. You learn how to smile, raise your eyebrows and like use a tonality. And like, you just get good at talking to people and dating life right. is going to improve mm -hmm. with your family is going to improve with your friends. Everything's because life is just one big series of communications, as you know. But of course, everything has disadvantages. So you're not building a business slash an asset that you can sell here. You're not technically your own boss. You're your freelancer. It's not passive at all. You're trading your time for money here. All right. Mm -hmm. And it's not scalable past the 50K a month range. The highest I've heard someone, a uh, friend of a friend make is like 60K in one month in commissions, but it's not scalable to multiple hundreds of thousands or millions per month, like some businesses. Uh, but the are. skills, but the skills that you could learn or the, the opportunity to train others to do it, right? Perhaps, yes, which is building yeah. a business, which I'll talk about at the very end. That's what we okay. all want to do right. long term. Right. Requirements, laptop, headset, and a brain. It's pretty much you don't need anything, which is which is great. You don't need no software. You don't need inventory. You don't need nothing. So warning, not for everyone. All right, this is not for you if you hate doing Zoom calls. It's not for you if you're not a people person. This is not for you if you're shy or hate talking to strangers. It's not for you if you're looking to press a button and make money. This is not for you if you have low motivation. All right, this is for hustlers, people, 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 <laughs> good communicators, hustle mindset, enjoy, enjoy talking to people, willing to work late nights, highly motivated. And at the end of the day, you're, you are serving people. You're helping people to sign mm -hmm. up for these programs and, and, and helping people change their life and, and, and get good results in whatever they're, they're looking for. So your, your mindset should be, you're here to serve people. All right. Warning, be prepared to be on shit tons of Zoom calls. All right. <laughs> and if you're in Asia, be prepared to take calls from 9 p.m. to 2 a.m. That's what I've been doing for the past four years. Now it's been running my own agency, but I know lots of remote sales guys out here and you can see my YouTube channel. I've interviewed them out here. This is what you're going to have to do most of the time. However, if you're like 
that's not an option. Very figure outable to work for a company that is Australia based or Europe based. So you can take times during normal work hours. But most companies, influencers are America, just sheer law of numbers. Okay. Um, most jobs are America based. So you may need to work during America hours. All right. Mm -hmm. How much can you make? You can make as much as you want. As you know, with real estate, same thing. You are a freelancer as hard as you want to uh, as you want to hustle. So, for example, full-time guys can take eight to 10 calls a day. That's like a packed uh, work day. 30% um, close rate is typical. So over here, a top middle column, you have part-time. So if you can do this part-time as well. So let's say uh, you only want to do this part-time on the side of your job or whatever, two calls a day for five days a week or five calls a day for two days a week, just on Saturday and Sunday, for example, totally doable. Plenty of guys are doing it. So let's say you only do 10 calls a week, 20% close rate, which is below average. So you make two sales a week, 500 or 500 bucks a sale, thousand bucks a week. Working. Not too bad, right? Yeah. Full-time example. Yeah. Full-time example, say you're doing 20 calls a week, so you're making four sales a week, four closes a week, right? Two 2,000 bucks a week. Not too bad, not too bad, not too bad. Um, and of course, some guys close 40%, some offers are closing at 50, 60%, it really depends. So as in sales, as in all freelancing, it's up to you how much you wanna make. Top guys make 20K plus. This right here is a cool case study from a YouTube subscriber who saw my interview with Marcus and who is now crushing it. He transitioned from corporate real estate, uh, commercial real estate in, and tech sales into remote closing for a real estate company. And so this is just cool case study. He saw my, he was a subscriber of mine and this is about mm -hmm. two years ago. And, uh, and now he's, he's crushing it. So this is the interview with Marcus, who is a, actually a remote sales coach. Uh, and my good friend who was another subscriber of mine. But um, note, note, guys, he did have prior sales experience in commercial real estate and tech sales. This shows what is possible when you get good selling the right offer. Okay, If you're mm -hmm. a brand new beginner, making 20K a month is not typical, of course, but it shows how, how much is po uh, what is possible, how much you can make. Do I need prior sales experience, Riley? No. Just like any freelance skill, everyone starts from zero. And I think this skill can be learned relatively quickly as a newbie. And of course, if you already have sales experience, you can crush it right away out the gate. And lots of guys that I'm getting messages from, hearing from, they're, they're in car sales, real estate, corporate sales. And they're like, I'm just done with this. I can't even step foot on the car lot anymore. It's like literally, I'm, I've get, get, been getting messages from multiple car salesmen <laughs> that they've seen my videos because they're, they see me on YouTube. Here's some notes from Jason's uh, story and pro tips that'll be uh, in the slides. Uh, if you want to know more about his story, uh, you know, his, his successful lawyer dad was so skeptical, you know, our, our parents may not understand this form of freelance sales, but really it's, it, it's a career, you know, it's a, it's a career and we live in the gig economy, right? It's a completely different economy. Yeah. What, and and so, what a great, what a great thing. What a great opportunity to to be able to, you know, as we were mentioning earlier, to, to sit in a Starbucks or to sit in your place in, in Thailand or, or wherever and do that, as opposed to having to be on a car lot. And, you know, and I'm not knocking that if people do well in that, but I personally don't want to be walking around a car lot with a jacket and tie on. Yeah. Yeah. I've done well, that. Yeah, as, as, <laughs> I get it. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Nice. So, I mean, as you know, you're, you're all about it. I'm all about it. It's all about exploring the world and, and living in a, a tropical place. And it's all about the lifestyle, what you can do after you're working, go down the beach. You can be location independence. That's what it's all about guys, location independence. And so let's just keep, just keep it trucking. They asked me, Riley, who am I going to close for? So really anyone that has, or any company that has a high ticket program or service, the most common categories are health, wealth, and relationships, because people tend to pay good money to improve these things. So there's a bunch of categories. So the types of clients, companies, influencers, coaches, really any company, agencies, B2B or B2C. Typically in the high ticket sales space, you're talking about a B2C situation, but there are tons and tons of B2B opportunities out there. It tends to be 
simpler to get started in a B2C. Those sales tend to be simpler rather than talking to a company. There's financials involved. It's a little bit more complicated of a sale. Uh, if well, in, in, my, in, my, so. yeah, in my experience, when you're selling to consumers, it's, it's much more of an emotion-based decision. Yeah. In real Absolutely. estate, for example, you know, the difference between commercial real estate, residential real estate, residential real estate, you can, you know, if you connect with somebody, really figure out what, how they want to feel about their house and you can help them get to where they want to be feeling wise. Great. Where with a commercial client, if you don't know how to run the numbers and show the ROI yeah. and the, and all this valuation of properties and stuff that honestly just make me glaze over. I don't know if that it's very similar in, in a lot of these areas. Yeah, you said it. B2C, much uh, simpler sale. You don't have to show spreadsheets, ROI, all that. Here's some examples. One on the left, this is the, a dating webinar, right? They're going to be promoting their course. Here's Grant Cardone's course slash program. Here's Tony Robbins's program. I know guys that close for all, all of those. Grant Cardone, Tony Robbins. Here's an Amazon FBA program. Here is a free live yoga meditation program. Here is... Um, improving your communication program. So all of these have offers associated to them. Everyone who attends these webinars, they will now be invited to book a call with the team. That's when you come in and close. So, so you mentioned Tony yeah. Robbins, Grant, Grant Cardone, and, and some of these other people. Um, what I hear you saying is that a lot of these organizations are working with freelance closers. So it's not necessarily employees of Absolutely. Tony Robbins or grants or whatever. So these are Potentially, when I know what I'm doing, I know how to present myself. I can go to those organizations and say, "Hey, I'm a closer. Put Absolutely. me on the schedule. Put, put me on. Put me in, coach." <laughs> yeah. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Companies in in this gig economy, as you know, if you if you can bring an ROI, you're good. They don't care about a degree. They don't care about where you're from. They don't care, care about anything. And that's the gig economy nowadays. And so, mm -hmm. um, yeah. Very cool. And so. And then, of course, YouTubers, influencers. There are over 1 million influencers with high-ticket courses slash programs. It's virtually endless. So I did make up the stat about a million influencers, but it's probably something like that. The point is it's there's unlimited influencers that have high-ticket programs. So YouTube, Instagram, all these folks have high-ticket programs. How to find clients. So I break it down into these categories, freelance sites, job sites, Facebook groups, and cold outreach. The main freelance site is Upwork. There are tons of tons of remote sales jobs on there. The main three job sites are ZipRecruiter, Indeed, and LinkedIn jobs. Facebook groups, you will search for remote sales jobs, high ticket closing. There's a bunch of groups on that. You got to sift through to find the diamonds in the rough, but there are people that post legit opportunities on there. My followers have already let me know that they've found uh, opportunities through Facebook groups and uh, they're already closing and making commissions. And then of course, cold outreach. Like any business, like any form of freelancing, get on that outreach horse and get to outreaching, right? This is like any form of freelancing. Oh, so wait, you got to you got to do you got to do sales in order to land the sales job, is that See, boom, there you go. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And then um, and then number five Super. over here, mastermind group slash course. So there are mastermind groups, there are courses, there are coaches where after you pass their training program, they will line up interviews for you because they already have this network of the Grant Cardones of the big courses, and they are kind of like a feeding system, right? Mm -hmm. Into these offers. So that's the that's the other flavor. And then the flavor number six is your network. As in any freelance service, if you're a real estate agent, hey, what do you do when you start? You ask your friends, you post on Facebook, hey guys, anyone know anyone that wants to buy or sell a home? So same mm -hmm. thing. Okay. Here are some screenshots. This uh, top left is a screenshot from a uh, Indeed. Then we have a Facebook group, and then we have a what's uh, WhatsApp a Upwork. A job post. So just search for high ticket closer, remote sales, remote closing on these job sites, and you will see jobs posted every day. Okay. Check out my YouTube channel for several videos on all of this stuff, how to find clients on all this stuff. Boop, 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 boop. On Instagram, I have a full video on YouTube about this, but the gist of it is 
search niche and then coach. So for example, flexibility coach, health coach, spirituality coach, weight loss coach, real estate coach, Amazon FBA coach. And you'll see a million of coaches that you can contact and DM to, to prospect, find your clients. Here's a list of a hundred niches, mindset, parenting. There's a million, million, million niches out there. So anybody that's listening to this is, is like, okay, great. I, I can, I know where to go to try and outreach. I know where to go to find these opportunities. And, and I also realize that they've got to do something to stand out because I'm a coach. I've, I've got a coaching business. I get messages on Facebook. Hey, Jason, can you, would you, do you need help closing? We've got this group of closers, da, 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 da. So how did somebody really, really learn this and then able to, to kind of stand out in that? Yep. Um, how to I stand you out. That in your slideshow. <laughs> yeah, I, I do have it. I do have it. And so this, um, so video messages, video messages mm -hmm. are the thing nowadays. So you want to, you want to have a 60 second video and you, you want to personalize that. All right. For everyone. Now there's different philosophies here. Some people say, just focus on your top dream clients focus on those and then send them all a personalized video uh, and then other people will say just spray and pray and it depends i think where you are in your career if you're just starting i think you should take any opportunity you, you you can just to get your reps in if you're more experienced then focus on those dream those dream offers right but to stand out video message okay that's going to help you stand out that's the the short answer of that um you know i'm, I'm do curious uh just just real quick because i've got some experience a little experience with this and what i hear you saying is really all of the remote closer jobs are the lead comes in a warm lead comes in books a zoom call you get on the call with them you have a conversation you close them they move on through the process onto their program or whatever they signed up for um do these jobs typically also involve, you know, going back to those people and lead follow up or even cold calling? Or is there, do you generally see that type of outreach or is it literally just, hey, I've got four calls booked today. So I just got to show up for those four calls. And when I'm done with those four calls, I'm done. Or do I have to go back and follow up with everybody yeah. who said no three months ago? Nope. Four calls today on my calendar. When it's done, it's done. See ya. It's, okay. it's quite rare that yeah. some, some clients will, you know, they'll email you later. Um, but it's no, your responsibility is done after the call. Ah, beautiful. Cause that's a, that's a big yeah. difference for anybody that's worked sales in the past. Yeah. Cause I can tell you working in real estate, it's not, <laughs> I'm not, I'm not sitting on a zoom waiting for somebody to book to call to come in and sit with me. I'm calling them because they signed up on a website somewhere to look at a house. So there's a total difference between really what I'm doing calling, Hey, you signed up on our website. I'm curious what prompted you to do that. And they're like, why are you calling me? I just wanted to see a, a picture of a bathroom or something and click, you know, so it's a totally different thing. So is what I'm hearing. So that's why I wanted to ask that to get the clarification. So people, people that have done yep. the door to door or the, the follow up with people constantly, it's, it sounds like a totally different beast. So thank you. Yep. Nope. You have no ongoing communication at all. And that's the, that's why, I see my other YouTube video and I interviewed a, a guy out here living in Phuket, one of my friends. And he says, man, it's my dream job because he's a closer. He is just a closer. And so the ideal situation here, right, is you are just a closer. And that's the, it's for the reason you just said, you, the, the company tees up these leads and you're here and you're just smashing these softballs and getting the commissions. You're just mm -hmm. and then done. And then just give me another one. Give me another one. And you're just hitting it out of the park. And so this, you are a closer. Okay. And this is that different sounds, than that like, sounds super. Yeah. It sounds super appealing to the guy that's done some of the more traditional sales stuff where it's like the constant grind. It's like, okay, I made yeah. 80 calls today. I got, you know, 20 people answered the phone, 10 of them hung up on me and whatever, whatever, whatever. That's a totally different animal than what yeah. you're describing. So I think that this is a, a super important distinction. So thank you. Yeah. 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 You have, yeah, you're, you're just closing the sales and um, yeah, that's it. So let's, let's keep going. There are, there are some, mm -hmm. some yep. caveats. All right. Here are some bonus places to search. 
your path to start. Okay. So there's kind of two pillars to this and any freelancing. So it's learning the skill and then it's finding the clients. Okay. So kind of that you're doing those two, two things I recommend at the same time with any form of freelancing. So option A, people ask me like, how do I get started, Riley? Option A is the do it yourself slash free option. So you could get started right after this presentation, go out, outreach to clients, uh, go learn closing. There's plenty and plenty of free stuff on YouTube. As with any skill, you can learn anything free on YouTube and on the internet these days. You can learn anything. So there's literally zero excuses, guys. <laughs> and then option B is the do it together slash paid option. So what do you do with any form? You want to learn anything. Join a training program. Join a sales training program. Get a coach. Do weekly practice calls. Now, you, there are some ways to do that for free. You can just like hit up some people, see if they want to do it for free with you. But all of these training programs, they have weekly practice calls. And that's key because you can watch a million YouTube videos on how to do sales. You're not going to get good until you get, get out there and get those reps in, right? It's like you can watch a thousand videos on how to swing a golf club and hit it straight, but you're not going to get good until you get out there at the range and get your reps in. Same thing with this, right? right? You can learn all the theory, but you got to get the practice in. That's why these sales programs are so valuable because everyone's, it's like, it's like a practice, it's like a sport. And they have you practice it's, every day until you're until you're ready and then they put you in the ballgame. It's yeah, it's the it's the difference in many sales positions. It's the difference between success and watch out because it's you know, we call it role playing, right? In in my world, it's role playing and working in real estate every morning, kinda like you mentioned you met at the Starbucks. I'm guessing you did some role plays there. Um, yep. you know, in real estate we had our team huddles and it's like we'd do the role play just over and over and over um, to really just sharpen that saw to, to make it worthwhile. So I get it completely. Yeah. It's important. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Role play and mock calls, whatever you want to call it. So do those, find a group and do those. Um, finding the right offer is crucial because some have higher commissions and conversion rates. So that is another big value that these kind of training programs have is they already have a network of these big programs that can, that can use a basically unlimited closures because they have unlimited leads coming in every day. And so that's kind of the, the shortcut join kind of a paid, uh, paid inner circle mastermind group with any form of freelancing or business, right? Mm -hmm. um, okay, here's the caveat to the thing. If you have no ex sales experience, you will start as an appointment center. This involves outbound mm -hmm. calling and yeah. or DMing yep. to warm hot and warm leads. Okay. You are not going to be hired as a closer if you have no sales experience. That's just how the world works. <laughs> you're not going to be promoted to be a manager if you're a fresh college graduate. First, first day on the job, yeah. Yep. Yeah, right? So it's the same with any career, okay? You have to start at the bottom if you're starting from the bottom, okay? So mm -hmm. you will start as an appointment center. But what I tell guys, I, I've said historically on my YouTube channel um, throughout the years, guys, door-to-door -door sales is a, is a great way, great thing, Um that to do in the summer or part-time if you're a student or whatever, because I did it. But now I'm like, screw that. Don't do that. But do do appointment settings slash cold calling slash warm calling. And so mm -hmm. it'll mostly be warm calling because you can get so many reps in every day. Like just on your first week, your, your communication skills are going to blast off. And so this is a great, it's actually a blessing in disguise that you're going to, because you're going to, you're going to get hit with a rejection. It's going to build that tough skin and you're going to learn sales so fast by starting as an appointment setter. And so the goal with this, so much, the, so much the appointment setters, right? yeah, you're going to get so much, you're going to get your rep repetition up fast. Mm -hmm. And so your goal with this is to get there, uh, get them to schedule a discovery call with the closer slash sales team. Okay. So you are DMing and or emailing and or calling their warm leads people that watch the webinar, but have not just scheduled a call yet. Mm -hmm. Right. So it's not cold calling. Right. Okay. There right. are plenty of cold calling opportunities out there for companies, but look for an appointment setting opportunity. I've seen the job boards. There's plenty of opportunities. And of course the mission here is prove that you're good and then get promoted to closer in due time. Depends on how good you are. Okay. Got it. Got but it. But yep, but also this serves as your training ground in your in your sales career. Here are some outreach don'ts and some outreach do's. Outreaching is a completely separate uh, universe that that we're not going to get in today. That's a completely separate uh, uh, school. 
here's the roadmap for beginners that I that I put together. Okay. Um, so you're learning the basics, learn the basics of sales, what, what this business model is, basics of sales. At the same time, you're watching closing videos. And this task never ends. You are always watching videos about sales. Even the most experienced sales guys, they're always reading a new book. They're always watching a new training. They're always doing a new mastermind, okay? So you're watching closing videos on YouTube. And then you're going to start to apply to setter jobs, appointment setter jobs. At the same time, do weekly uh, role play calls. And then you're going to get your first setter job. You're going to work that way, work that for maybe a few months. Um, constantly review your calls, constantly practice, constantly improve. And then when you are confident enough and or when you get promoted, you will start to apply for more, better closing jobs. Okay. If you think you're confident enough to get the closer job and you can prove yourself somehow on the interview or then, okay, now you're ready to be a closer. Go search for the closer jobs, work as a closer. And then as you're working for a closer, you're going to start searching for better jobs, for better closing jobs, right? And then constantly get better, earn more and repeat until you find that offer that you're just, that you're just crushing it with. And then just stick with that offer and, and crush it. So that's the, you, the roadmap for you guys. Do a lot of people that kind of follow this path. Um, I heard you get one, look for the better one. Uh, but are, are there people out there that are working for multiple programs? You know, cause you're a freelancer. Mm -hmm. So I mean, do most of the companies are like, like is Grant Cardone's company fine if I'm also doing Tony Robbins programs and so on, so on, so on, so on, so on, so on, or does it typically just you're, you're, dealing with one at a time or what does that look like? Yeah. yeah, typically one at a time. I'm sure some guys do multiple at a time, but typically it's one at a time is what I'm seeing. Yeah. Which makes sense because yeah, so, whichever one is working best for you is probably the one you want to focus your time on. Yeah. And right. so right. To, to get started, as I mentioned, just get the first opportunity, get start getting your feet wet and focus on that for like let's say like six months. Okay. Just focus on that. And don't worry too much about what looking, looking for the other one, but of course you're going to always want to look for the better, better opportunity. Right. And so this is kind of a, another slide about the roadmap, hundred K roadmap, roadmap. Once you land a great opportunity, go all in. So it may take you your second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth client slash gig slash job to find that one where you're just, you're closing them. It's a great offer that you believe in. Um, and so you're just, you're making good commissions uh, and you have a high close rate, right? After you find that, go all in. Invest your money in knowledge, masterminds, coaches, stack cash to win sales for two to five years. This is what I've said historically to guys uh, about the door-to-door -door sales before I knew about remote sales, but screw door-to-door -door sales. You can do it from anywhere now, guys. It's a great way to stack cash. Don't worry about investing in crypto. Don't get distracted by the other things. Just stack cash, focus on this. Okay. And then quit your job when you have six to 12 months of living expenses saved or whenever you feel is right. On the side of closing, think about what business you might want to start. Uh, because as we mentioned in the, in the beginning, we all are entrepreneurs here. We all long-term want to start a business, but um, what some people do is they jump straight into starting a business when actually many entrepreneurs, uh, successful folks would say, you know, actually you should start building skills first and building the skill of scale. The skill of sales is one of the most valuable skills you could have. Sales is just communication and all life is communication. And then I have number seven, start building your personal brand slash passion project on social media on the side. So you're doing it. I'm doing it. Nowadays in this economy, it's all about the personal brand. It's all about being out there. Uh, whether you're a real estate agent, right? Real estate agents have to be on social media these days. You know, any sort of professional, it's all about being on LinkedIn, being out there. And so there's a whole another subject we can talk about of, of putting yourself out there as a sales professional, right? To put yourself out there. Hey, I'm a sales guy, but Think about this. What are, what are you passionate about or what do you enjoy most? Start putting content out there on your social media in that space uh, and mm -hmm. build that up for a five to 10 year plan. Um, you know, maybe you can become an influencer um, or a podcaster or whatever. Right. Uh, that's the dream job, right? Making money 
um, from talking about what you enjoy talking about, what right? That's love. the long-term yeah. goal. Yeah. And that's what we're both doing here. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Now that's, that's, so that's the kind of roadmap that I, that, that I send guys. Um, just a couple more slides. This is actually the last one. So if you do have sales experience, if you do have sales experience, guys, let's say you're the, the car salesman, the real estate, or even if you just have high level managerial ex experience, you're a high level communicator, right? You can start remote closing right away. Skip the appointment setting, right? And so watch this video I did with Desmond Dixon. He runs a remote sales staffing agency called Remote Sales Manager to IO. He came over to my place in Phuket. We connected through, through Thailand, friends of friends. Um, they connect companies to remote salespeople. He's been running this uh, remote sales staffing agency for years. And he is, he's also got an inner circle called Remote Sales Club. And this is for the experienced sales guys. We're looking to transition from corporate sales into remote sales, mm -hmm. right? And so, and get connected kind of with his offers as well as mastermind with other top sales guys to continually improve skills and closing rates. So that's kind of his thing. Check out this interview. If nothing else, it's 30 minutes of straight pro tips on how to outreach, how to do video messages, how to ace your interview, uh, and then how to impress right when you get inside the role. So there's Very that. Cool. Feel free to reach out to me on Facebook as well with, uh, with questions. Uh, oh yeah, and that's what I have here as well. So to learn more, check out my YouTube, Discord, free high ticket closing guide and my Instagram where I've been talking about this a lot and uh, I'm going to keep making content around this, so. Very, very cool. Yeah, and the, we'll have, the overview. yeah, you, you've got the slides. We're going to have some links underneath the, uh, kind of in the description here under the video for people to connect with you, Riley. Uh, I just love how you you really brought something to the table here that's that's unique in this summit is like a, a roadmap. Like, okay, <laughs> you want to go live remotely? Well, here's, here is a legitimate plan that most people can do if, if they fit that criteria, if want to hustle, willing to put in yeah. the work and willing to actually talk to people. Yeah. And that's, and that's, that's you know, cool. fair enough. Not everybody wants to talk to people. You know, I've, I've, I've been yeah. traveling for a while. I've met a lot of people that are computer programmers that yeah. works just fine for them. And they'll sit in their room at the Airbnb for hours and hours and hours writing code or what, I don't know what they do in there. Um, <laughs> but that's fine. So, you know, they're doing their thing, but this is for, you know, somebody that's, that's social wants to get out there, the sales type of person, the person who maybe their friends and family say things like you could sell ice to an, uh, an Eskimo, you know, that type of person, <laughs> then uh, mm -hmm. you've given up a road a roadmap. So thank you so much for doing that. Yeah. Um, I'm going to continue to follow you, click on some of this stuff um, as, as well, because I know there's opportunities for me as well. So thank you so much for being here today and and sharing yeah. that with, uh, with, with everybody. So thank yeah, you so much. You are very, very, very welcome. My pleasure.